Guess what, Frederick? What, Mom? I made a special supper tonight. Guess what it is? What, Mom? Did you make fried taxi again? That's right, Frederick. I made fried taxi. Just the way you like it. Along with some super special garlic bread. Isn't that fantastic? Thank you, Mom, for making fried taxi and garlic bread again for the thousandth time. You're welcome, honey. I knew you'd like it. Welcome to Arsina and Friedrich's Ataxia, represented by the Fried Taxi over here. Fried Taxi for Friedrich's Ataxia. You also note that she was making this garlic bread, right? She started when she said garlic bread. The garlic bread is tough to remember that Friedrich's ataxia is due to a trinucleate repeat disorder of GAA. So garlic is to help us remember GAA. And this is on chromosome 9, represented by the wine glass. The wine glass, wine for 9. The GAA trinucleate repeat is on chromosome 9. Specifically, it's on a gene that encodes for a taxin, the iron binding protein. Represented by the fried tux over here. The fried tux over here for, for taxin. This leads to an impairment in mitochondrial functioning. Represented by the mitochondria model over here that's randomly exploding. This leads to a whole bunch of symptoms. And let's discuss those. If you take a look behind this mother over here, you'll note that she has this ladder in her back. This ladder to help us remember the lateral corticospinal tract which is associated with a spastic paralysis. She also have a cerebellum sticking out over here at the bottom of her spine. Spine cerebellar to help us remember sino spinocellular tract, which leads to ataxia. We also note these doors over here, these doors to help us remember the dorsal columns, which leads to a decrease in vibratory sense and proprioception. We also note that in the bottom of the doors, there's a root to help us remember the dorsal root ganglia which leads to loss of DTRs. And the curved spine over here to help us remember the kyphoscoliosis seen in childhood. You might have also noticed that she was standing on these hammers to help us remember the hammer toes seen in Friedrich's ataxia. And the space over here is to help us remember the pest cavus. In fact, she falls over a lot. She looks like she's falling, as frequent falling and staggering are other symptoms seen in Friedrich's ataxia. Just to help us remember that dysarthria is another symptom seen in Friedrich's ataxia where there's an inability to speak due to the muscles damaging the mouth. We're gonna have her mouth in here exploding. I guess she dropped this melon over here on the floor, I'm not sure, and then has dyed beads in it. It dyed beads for diabetes mellitus. Friedrich's ataxia can lead to diabetes mellitus. She also has a big heart on her shirt to help us remember the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy seen in Friedrich's ataxia, which is often a cause of death. One more point we want to make about Friedrich's ataxia is how it's inherited. Let's take a look at what she's making for dessert. You see inside the oven here, the Reese's chocolate that she's making for dessert. Friedrich's ataxia is inherited in autosomal recessive fashion. Okay, that's our scene on Friedrich's ataxia. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.